So here we go. Let's see how you guys did. Um, I'm going to leave this 5 minus 3x just hanging out here. That's going to do nothing yet. And I'm going to do my binomial expansion. So exponent is 4. 4 to 0 times 2 to the 4th times negative x to the 0. Plus 4 to 1, 2 to the 3rd, to the times negative x to the 1st. Plus 4 choose 2, 2 squared. Use those parentheses, guys. So there we go. Now I just got to clean up what's in there. Um, 4201 times 16 times 1 plus 4 times 8 times negative x plus 6 times 4 times positive x squared plus 4 times 2 times negative x cubed. plus 1 times 1 times positive x to the fourth. So, 5 minus 3x times 16 minus 32x plus 24x squared minus 8x cubed plus x to the fourth. And now we just go through and we distribute the 5 and the 3x. So, 5 times 16 is 80. 35 times negative 32 is minus 160x. 5 times 24. 5 times negative 8x cubed have my x squared on it. That's going to be minus 40x cubed and then plus 5x to the fourth. Now I switch to the other term. Negative 3x times 16. It's going to be negative 48 x. Negative 3x times negative 32 is positive 96x squared. Negative 3x times 24, that's going to be negative 72x cubed. Negative 3x times negative 8x cubed, that will be positive 24x to the fourth. And then negative 3x times positive x to the fourth would be negative 3x to the fifth. And last, all we have to do is combine our like terms. So we have 80. I have x terms in two places. Negative 160 minus 48 is negative 208x. I have x squared in a couple places. I have a total of 221x squared. that x cubes, negative 40 minus 72, that's going to be negative 112 x cubed. I have 5x to the fourth plus 24x to the fourth, that's plus 29 x to the fourth. And lastly, I have minus 3x to the fifth. And there we go, we round this out, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen, there's one more. Aren't you excited? So, why do we care about this? Well, we can actually use it to approximate things like 1.99 to the fifth. You know, we can plug that in the calculator. But how do we get those numbers? What does the calculator do? Well, what it does is it, it can use a binomial expansion for something like 2 minus x to the raised to the fifth power, and then substitute x equals 0.01. Because 2 minus 0.01 is 1.99. Fascinating. So let's expand this 
and then substitute 0.01 in for the x. So here we go. 5, 2, 0, and it's saying we're going to use the first three terms to approximate this. So we're not going to find the exact value. We're just going to give a close approximation by using part of this series. Times 2 to the fifth times negative x to the 0. There's the first term. Plus 5, 2 is 1. 2 to the fourth times negative x plus 5 choose 2, 2 cubed, plus negative x, the first, and it should be squared. So there's my first three terms. Let's simplify them. 1 times 32 times 1, plus 5 times 8 times negative x, plus... 10 times 8 minus times positive x squared. And remember, there's more terms, so we're just using the first three to help us approximate this value. So this is 32 minus 40x plus 80x squared. All right, so now what we can do is we can plug in x equals 0.01, which remember 2 minus 0.01 is 1.99. And these three terms are part of the expansion for this binomial. So we have 32 minus 40 times 0.01 plus 80 times 0.01 squared. Okay, so 80... 0.01 squared. Um, well, that's going to be 0 0.0001. 1 100 times 1 100 is 1 10,000. That's four decimal places. Times 80. 40 times 0.01 is 0.4. So we have 32 minus 0.4, that's going to be 31.6, plus 80 times 0.001 is going to be 0 0.0080. So we have 31.608 as our approximate value. I hope I didn't make any mistakes with my arithmetic. If I did, please forgive me. Um, I was doing this whole thing without a calculator. Crazy fun. I hope you enjoyed this. It's wicked cool.